We're on location here at John F. Kennedy Middle School in Woburn, Massachusetts, where today we bring you yet another episode of Stateside Footy, the program all about Australian rules football as it's played here in the United States. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'm your host, Bill Robert, and today we're going to basically witness what uh, the Demons are calling their Metro season. As uh, we've told you before during the season, uh, in addition to the actual USAFL matches where they play teams from out of town, the Demons Club actually breaks up into what can be essentially called in uh, baseball terms a split squad game, where the Demons actually break up into three separate teams and they have what's called a metro competition it's called metro because metro footy is the style of game they play basically what you're talking about is a smaller field smaller sides and it's a game really that was adapted to fit in countries where you didn't have a lot of fields really big enough for full-size footy a lot of full-size footy is played on cricket ovals obviously not many cricket ovals here in the state so they had to improvise and thus metro footy was born uh, this year actually the demons are calling it the zadie's rainbow metro competition zadie's rainbow being a charitable and uh, awareness organization in Australia. We had talked to uh, the president of the club uh, before the season, Rich Fuller. Rich tells us a little bit about uh, the Zadie's Rainbow effort. You see the uh, the rainbow shoelaces there and that's um, a foundation that was started by my uncle back in Australia called the Zadie uh, Rainbow Foundation. She uh, <laughs> passed away tragically in 2004 and uh, you know, she uh, donated her organs to um, you know seven other people and uh, saved their lives. So uh, I thought, why not a shoelace? It's uh, the symbol of the charity, and it's an easy thing to put on your boot. Well, there are three teams in the Demons Metro competition. Uh, you've already seen two of them play in a previous episode. You saw the River Rats play the Buffaloes. I believe the margin of that one was uh, five points, so the game was within a goal. Really tight competition. Today, you're going to see the River Rats again, and they're playing the other team in the Metro competition, the Lobster Men, and that's going to be the first match today. And uh, this is going to be the first part of today's episode. We're actually going to have two footy matches for you. Once again, it is Metro, and also it's the 2 by 20 format, so each game it'll be at two 20-minute halves, just like we see with a lot of the tournament games. Coming up next, we're going to have Metro footy competition for you. It's going to be the Lobster Men and the River Rats here on a formerly rainy morning here in uh, Woburn. Uh, we came in and things were pouring, but things have cleared up just a bit since. And it's funny, we had a big rainstorm. We're seeing rays through the sky right now, and this is the uh, Zadie's Rainbow Metro footy competition. And uh, we might just see a rainbow somewhere out here. So uh, how fitting today. Coming up next, we've got footy action for you right here on Stateside Footy. Mom! Mom! What? You can't find Ichabod. What? You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who would love to put up with you.
We're almost ready to play some Metro footy today here in Woburn. Bill Robert here alongside is uh, Kyle Serino. He'll be uh, helping me out today with uh, some uh, commentary for the uh, the show. At least Starting to stay cool anyway. Yeah, that's true. Well, no, yeah, you know, first it was a battle to stay dry. Now it's a battle to stay cool. With the ball in the middle, acting as official umpire is uh, Demons Captain Al McLean, who actually is uh, part of the Buffaloes team we'll see later. And here we go. We've got the center ball up, and it starts out. Burbank tries to tip it ahead. And uh, going for it there, uh, going for it, that's uh, number seven for the uh, River Rats, that's Ben Dodge. And it goes uh, down to the boundary, still in play, and here come the Lobstermen. Now Burbank with a kick, looking in space, and the mark is taken. Oh, they called play on. Oh, is he? They called, a little bit yeah. of confusion on the field. A little bit of sure confusion, they called play on, he got uh, tackled, so he got, uh, so he got called for holding the ball. A bit of for the lobstermen, that was uh, number 15, Robert Frazier. It is and taking the kick there. Uh, Danny uh, Eunice. And uh, they're trying to bring it uh, toward their goal now, the River Rats are. River Rats coming off a big one against the uh, Buffaloes in the last Metro game that uh, you saw right here on Stateside Footy. Battle for it now. Going out, uh, goes right over the head of uh, Druckenmiller. Kicks it toward goal. And the mark taken there by the uh, Lobstermen. That's at number nine, Andrew Burns. And it's coming out now. They're trying to get it along the fat side of the ground. Kick up, looking for somebody in space. Defensive mark taken by Mike Shepard. Shepard kicks it ahead, looking for a lead, but the only lead there is wearing red. And it'll be taken once again. You can see just how slick it is, having a trouble wrestling it down down there. Yeah. Uh, it's kicked ahead now. Going in, and uh, that's uh, Patty Tangney getting it for the uh, River Rats. I'm sorry, not Tangney, that's Eunice again. Tangney's playing for the Lobstermen. Uh, Eunice with it now. And it's taken by, oh! Almost taken there by Tangney. Just couldn't keep the handle on it. Yeah, hopefully things will dry up as we go along. Yeah, wet ground. Uh, there was uh, kind of a downpour here before. Kicked into the uh, goal area now by the uh, River Rats, but the Lobstermen take it. It's Burns again. And uh, Burns gets it taken off of him by Ben Sandwich. Dodge. Then Dodge gets taken down. The ball is on the ground now. Burbank's in there as well. Ari Jonik's coming along. The ball's still in play. And now it's going to go out. We'll have a boundary throw in. Boundary throw in at the uh, River Rats forward pocket. It's kind of scrappy down there. It's, a, it's between teams, but they're still going for it. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Right, let's see it go up. And uh, kind of between everybody. Jonik has it there. Tries to uh, fist it ahead. I think he's uh, trying to get it over to. Uh, Dodge with it now taking the mark in front of the goal or in front of the goal area for the lobster men. Actually, uh, doesn't matter because uh, Jonik was paid the free kick right back at the boundary line. Tough angle shot, but let's see if he goes for goal or just tries to set something up in front. He's kicking for goal. It's taken. It's touched. It's going to go through. It's uh, behind. You really put a lot on that one, though. Yeah, but it's going to be a behind. So the River Rats scoring the uh, first points mm -hmm. of the match. River Rats right now, one behind, one point. And the uh, kick out from the Lobstermen is going to go out of bounds. Really did his best with a rough shot, though. That was kind of a tricky angle. Yeah, it actually was touched on the way in, too. and it Actually did go through the center goal post, but it had been touched, which is why it was the behind. Going for it there, uh, trying to get it there is Frazier. However, it winds up in the hands of uh, Danny Eunice once again. And he kicks it ahead, looking for a lead. Almost taking the And oh, getting it, there's okay. Dodge! And Dodge is going to kick a goal! Gonna need a machete to go after that one. Oh yeah. First major score of the uh, match, it goes to the River Rats, and right now they lead 1-1-7. Still uh, no scoring for the Lobster Men. He was that, right on top of that one. He was right where he needed to be, that's smart. The last match it was uh, the Buffaloes getting off to the quick start, but then the uh, River Rats coming in, and uh, lead changed hands a few times, but the River Rats hanging on at the end to win it by less than a goal. A very exciting game that was played over at uh, Briggs Field at MIT the day that uh, we had the big Brett Kirk visit. So they're getting set to ball it up once again at center. Riverette's jumping out to a quick lead, and here comes the sun, as uh, the late George Harrison once said. That's the other thing. It's just going to be blind, so if it really gets up there, you risk losing it up in the sun. That old excuse might come back. Mm -hmm. And it's about to go up now. Trying to iron something out on the field here. 
getting a position set to make sure you don't have too many people in the center. We've seen some matches earlier this season where teams have been penalized with uh, free kicks given away for having too many men in the center during the uh, center ruck. Getting set. To... I think that's actually, yeah, that's, that's Paul Kupke. Usually when we see Kupke, he's actually one of the players taking the ruck, not uh, throwing uh, the ball into the air. But uh, it's taken now by the River Rats. Uh, goes ahead and Dodge has it now. Dodge has the goal. And uh, knocked to the ground there was Druckenmiller. Lobsterman trying to do something with it, but the River Rats seeming to regain possession. Chasing after it now is Druckenmiller. He, he's got it now. He's moving. He kicks ahead. He's got a lead out there. Goes over the head, though. Uh, and uh, as uh, going to number eight, uh, who's uh, simply known here on the, uh, on the uh, roster as Chugger. So... You know, footy, footy players, fighter pilots, it's all about the colorful nicknames. <laughs> and uh, free kick will be given to the lobster men. They'll kick it out now. Trying to get somebody in the middle, but it looks... Oh, Drucky oh. Miller slips. He loses his footing on the wet ground. Had a good opportunity there, but he but couldn't, he like, couldn't uh, yeah, get away with it himself. That was uh, number four, Eric Jordica. Yeah, though. Water plays no favorites. Handball over now to Dodge. Dodge with a kick toward goal. He split the sticks again. Another major score for the River Rats. 2-1-13. Now? They're really starting to carry things early. That momentum's starting to help. Ben Dodge again with the goal. Once again, we have to send somebody into the brush. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Out comes the footy. Dodge right now looking more like a Mercedes. But like we were saying earlier, that water, you know, ball slick. We got some mistakes that really are... You know, paying out in the River Rats' favor. Well, it was actually a great opportunity for Jordica because uh, Druckenmiller had fallen down on the wet ground, but Jordica couldn't really convert with it. Lobsterman get it off the rock and big kick ahead. Finally get into the attack. And Shepard takes a defensive mark. Beautiful job there holding off Matt Gar Garofolo. One-handed, that was beautiful. That was a beautiful one-handed mark by Shepard. Shepard now at his own goal square. Looking for opportunities. And uh, coming out. And Jonik takes the mark at center. Actually more like uh, center halfback. Square in the chest. That was right on him. Mm -hmm. And the kick. Uh, this one's probably going to be taken by the Lobstermen. It is. And the mark is taken by the Lobstermen. So the ball will be coming back the other way. They're just trying to find somebody in the field right now. Shippers. Oh, Dodge just touched it. Adam Shippers was uh, lined up to take that one. And Dodge just got in the way. Shippers has it now. Handball to Frazier. Frazier can't uh, corral it, though. He falls down. With it now is Danny Eunice. Eunice looking for a lead up front. He just kicks it. Goes way over everyone's head. It's going to roll. Is it going to make it? It's not going to make it all the way to the sticks. Battle for it along the ground there. Battling for it there is uh, Andrew Burns and also Chugger. Coming out now. And uh, with it is... Uh, the River Rats have it. I'm sorry, the uh, Lobstermen have it now. Sean Burbank with it now. Burbank just holding. Kicks it ahead. Looking for Garofolo. Goes on a hop. Goes over his head. Mike Shepard. He can't hang on to it either. Garofolo has it now. Tries to hand ball it to Frazier. Can't do it. Frazier tries to get it up off the ground now. Being uh, pursued there by Eunice. He falls down. And he handballs it away. Tries to get it to Garofolo. And uh, we have a stoppage in play, I believe. Uh, was that a handball or uh, was, that, was that a throw? I think they're calling the throw on there, Yeah, they're, they're calling the throw. So as a result, uh, they'll get the free kick to be taken by Ross Druckenmiller, who kicks it ahead looking for Dodge, and Dodge takes the mark at the center wing. He's hot right now. He's just on a roll. Yeah, he's got two goals already. Dodge handballs it to Druckenmiller. Druckenmiller being pursued there by Burbank. It goes back, and now to Eunice. Danny Eunice kicks it ahead. And it goes over everybody. It's rolling the ground, though. And who's going to get there first? Burns has it now. Try to get the slide in on it, but... Yeah, that wet ball. Chugger's got it now. Back to Druckenmiller. Druckenmiller with a little bit of a bobble, but he's got it now. He sells the candy. Tries to kick. It's bending. It's good for a goal. A goal. Right there at about a uh, little past uh, center half forward. Just uh, laid the move on, sold the candy. Bent that one in real nice. Yeah, that was, that was Druckenmiller, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yep, Druckenmiller with the goal there, so... So the man they call Gerbil gets one. Along with two by Ben Dodge. And right now the River Rats are leading by a score of 3-1-19. They've been really running away with it. And plus anytime they starts to get down the other side of the field, they're just all over it. 
some stingy D really helping out too. Mm -hmm. And uh, with it now, oh, it's smothered there. Burbank going for it along the sidelines. He kicks it ahead, and uh, Shipper is trying to get it. Oh, man, hang on. He's got his jumper now. He's uh, pulling on the jumper, so there will be a free kick. Let's see what we can do with it. And Shippers with a kick. Shippers with a goal. There's a straight shot. First score for the Lobster, man. It's a major. One straight six. The goal scored by Adam Shippers. Trying to stem the tide before they pull too far ahead. Absolutely. Right now, they're still down by two goals, one. The deficit right now is 13. And they're getting set to uh, ball it up once again at center. And taken out of the ruck. Nice uh, tip ahead there by number 10 for the River Rats. And uh, River Rats trying to move it ahead. A tackle there. And Holds the ball is loose on the ground. Trying to get it there is number 5, Dave Morton for the Lobstermen. Fisted ahead there. Uh, Burbank tried to fist it ahead, but then it's kicked by Eunice. Tried to get uh, Chugger on the lead. And uh, it's loose now. A couple of players going after it. Jonik tries to soccer it off the ground. <laughs> He's kicked the goal. Ari Jonik soccers a rolling ball off the ground and puts it right through. That was smart. Rather than try to, you know, corral it himself, he just went right for the goal. He's being real aggressive with it. That's Not smart. a clever toe poke either. He just went and put his, foot, put his boot right into it. Put it right through the sticks. Sometimes brawn pays off. Yes. Yes, very, especially when you're looking for... Uh, Shavers or coffee machines? All right. Taking a quick break to yeah. water everybody down. Get uh, get everyone hydrated here. And up we go again. River Rats have reclaimed their 19-point lead, and they're going for it again off, off of the uh, center tap. Druckenmiller had it. Now it goes to uh, number 10. And uh, fisted ahead. Into a contest and a uh, bunch of people going there. Uh, Druckenmiller a little slow to get up. A little bit of a pile up there, yeah. And a uh, kick for Shippers. Shippers takes! Oh! oh. He actually, they paid him the mark. They said he had control. They did pay They did pay him the mark, so. Yeah, the whistle went off, so. As a result, Shippers will get the kick. From half forward flank. Kicks it through. And that's another one. Second goal for Adam Shippers. And the man they call ads is keeping him in. I'm sure the other side's not happy that he got paid that, but yeah. he took he made the most of it. Yeah. Now the the question was, did I didn't hear did he, whether he got paid the mark or if they called uh, some type of uh, holding or infringement infraction on the Shepherd. Mm -hmm. Oh, they the called the push in the back on Shepherd. Thanks, Kyle. Ends up on the scoreboard. That's all that counts. And uh, tipped ahead, and Druckenmiller's got it now, but then he runs right into a lobster man and uh, loses the ball. He's dispossessed. Kicked ahead now, looking for Frazier, taken, fisted away by Eunice with the spoil. Back there now is Dodge. Dodge has it, moves around Garofalo, gets in position, puts it on the boot, and it's taken, a defensive mark there. Nice job there by Eric Jordica. And he kicks it. He's looking for either Frazier or Shippers. Shippers is going to have it. He's going to have an open road to the goal. And it looks like Shippers will have three. And indeed he will. He was right on top of that one. He was waiting. He gave it a little bit of space. So he had the opportunity to just go for it. Yeah. A bit of a breakaway. Yeah, well, Shippers is making the delivery today. That's for sure. <laughs> Shippers has airmailed all his chances right through the goal posts. The River Rats got an early start, but now the Lobster yeah. is starting to pull even and really, yeah. really taking advantage of all their chances. Well, if he keeps making deliveries, deliveries like that, we'll have to change his name from Shippers to Shipping Magnate. Three goals for Adam Shippers, and now all of a sudden this is a seven-point match. 25-18 to 18 right now in favor of the River Rats, and it's uh, taken out of the ruck and uh, kicked a long way toward the uh, River Rats off offensive end of the field. And they're trying to uh, move with it right now. Uh, Jonik in there going for it. Druckenmiller has it now. Druckenmiller with a kick. And it's going to go off the uh, roll on the ground. And it's actually going to go out of bounds. 
hit the tip of the ball, started to uh, kick right, and uh, looked like it was going to roll through for a behind. Winds up going through for a boundary throw in. Definitely wants another shot at that, and maybe he'll get it here. Yeah, not a bad result if you're the River Rats. You still get it, a chance at a close in. Goes over everyone's head. Going back for it, Druckenmiller, who just kicked that ball with another shot, and it looks like it's going to be going wide, but it's not uh, going to have to carry anyway. And uh, in front, oh, they can't. They tried to. Uh, <laughs> Jonah can't kick it on goal. He was about to put it on the boot, and now it's kicked by number 10, and uh, that'll go through in that. Uh, oh, excuse me. It's taken through for a behind, it looks like. That yep. was some doggy. They call it a behind, so it's now 4 2 26. He just couldn't get a break, just dragging him down every yeah. time he tried to grab it. And Jordan is going to take the kick out. Pieces in motion. And it looks like Druckenmiller's. Oh, no, he can't take it. It goes through his hands. And Garofalo was looking to get it, but then uh, Druckenmiller held him up. Druckenmiller now gets it, kicks it. Plenty of power. And goals it. Or did it? Yep. Nope. Oh, it got touched. Looked like it went through, but it got touched on the way in. So, as a result, it'll be another behind. 4 3 27. Okay. And. Yeah, let's uh, make it out. It's. Uh, did it bounce in? Was it inside the line, though, before it went out, or did it uh, go out on the full? I think we're going to have a boundary throw in, so it did bounce inside the boundary line before it went out. Yeah. So it did not go out on the full. And up it goes. Fraser's got it now. Off the throw in. He's moving. He bounces it. He's going, and he's going to try and kick for goal. It goes off Shepard, and then off the post. So a hander poster, but it's a behind for the lobster men. Could have been a lot worse. Yeah, now the score. I, I figured uh, Shepard was going to take it for the defensive mark. He has a kick out now, and uh, Danny's got it. And he kicks it up ahead. And it's spoiled, but it goes right to Ari Jonik. Jonik tries to handball it just to himself, basically. Oh, but Garofalo has it now. Kicks it ahead. And here come the ro uh, lobster men again. Kick ahead looking for Shippers. It's going to bounce and go out. So we're going to lose it all on the boundary. We're going to have a boundary throw in here. Wait for Barty to line up. Yep. And frazier has got it now. Frazier puts it on the boot and kicks a goal. Or does he? I don't see an indication yet from the goal umpire. Look good to me, but. Yeah, I, I, but I still haven't seen any indication from the goal umpire at all. Oh, he's waving one flag. That's a behind. Mm. Looked like that might have gone through, but once again, we're, we always have to. A little bit of discussion on the field over yeah, it. Yeah, a little bit. Uh... That was a point. A little feisty down there. Good effort, though, by uh, number 15, Robert Frazier for the Lobstermen. And it's kicked up now. And uh, taken by uh, Garofalo, who has problems getting it up off the ground. And now it's toe-poked ahead by Jonik. But then it's kicked there by Burbank. And battle of the sixes now, Burbank and Jonak. Ari gets it now, tries to kick, and uh, Chugger's going to have it now. And he plays on, kicks toward goal. It's going to go straight across the face of goal. Going after it there, Dave Morton for the Lobster Men, battling against Ben Dodge. Dodge has it now, back to Druckenmiller. Druckenmiller with a kick. Druckenmiller with a behind. Looked like it might have been going through, and uh, you, you lead up for one of those. It's one of the things with calling this sometimes you, you, you start to get the steam behind. And it's going, it's going. It's, it's not going where I thought it was going to go. But it is a behind for the River Rats, and now it's 4 4 28 for the, uh, the men in the gold and the blue. They keep it on the attack. That's all that counts. I mean, yeah. possession is so much. So oh, critical. defensive mark taken off the kickout. That's Ben Dodge with it now. He's got two goals already. He's got Jonik in there. He's got Chugger in there. Druckenmiller's moving in, too. Kick goes in. It looks like it's going to be going wide. Indeed, it is. He misses. That's going to be a point as well. That's a behind, so that's 4-5-29 now for the River Rats. So far, there's a definite difference in scoring shots. I believe we've got like four more scoring shots for the River Rats, but uh, five of those scoring shots, so five of the nine have been behinds. So the Lobster Men still only trail by, uh, by a goal and a few behinds. And off the kick out there, it's going to roll. Is it going to stay in play or is it going to go out? 
Stays in play. You got to that one, yeah. The River Rats have it now, and they kick it uh, toward half forward flank, and it's going to bounce and stays in play. Dodge has it now. Dodge handballs it ahead. I believe that's Jonik with it now. Jonik kicks it toward goal. Oh, and it goes off the post. A poster there from Ari Jonik. And an even six behinds for the River Rats now. I thought he was getting away with that one. I thought so too, but the post had different ideas. Goes over Burbank's head on the kick out. And we're at halftime. Good showing so far between both teams. Nice uh, tight battle, although once again, River Rats do have the territorial advantage, but uh, not quite the advantage they were looking for on the scoreboard. At the end of one half of footy, the score stands. The River Rats, four goals, six behinds, 30 total points. The Lobster Men, three goals, two behinds, 20 total points. Coming up next, we'll have the second half of this match. You're watching Stateside Footy. We can all be energy savers. <laughs> It's easy. Turn off lights. Use energy saving light bulbs. And turn off electronics and appliances when not in use. Make a change and we can really fly. Learn more at energy.gov slash kids. Coming back for the second half of this match here on Stateside Footy. Here along uh, the uh, ground, I'm Bill Robert, Cal Serena alongside here. And uh, so far, uh, pretty good competition so far between the uh, River Rats and the Lobster Men. Big story right now, the Lobster Men um, uh, keeping in it, but the River Rats having the territorial advantage for a good part of the first half. Not able to uh, connect with that in goals, though, Kyle. Yeah, they've... Uh you know, squandered a bunch of chances, but again, keeping the possession, keeping the ball out of the attacking end for them has been huge. You know, basically not giving the other chance team, team a chance to catch up. So far for the River Rats, two goals by Ben Dodge, one by Druckenmiller, one by Ari Jonik. Scoring for the far for the Lobster Men, for, as far as goals, Adam Shippers, three goals. You and coming out and... and yeah, basically, and they've scored two behind since. The score stands right now 30-20 uh, to 20 in favor of the River Rats. As that one goes out, it's going to be a boundary throw-in. Sun's starting to punch through. It's really getting bright out. Yeah, and uh, with it now, it's going to go. Actually, uh, looked like uh, Ben Dodge was about to grab it, but it wound up going out of bounds, so it'll be another boundary throw in. See, so got under it. And uh, goes right to one of the river men. He uh, handballs it ahead, and the kick ahead into space now. Anybody's ball. Chugger's got it now, but he's running the he's opposite way. Whoops. <laughs> And uh, he gets it back, though. Gets it to Ari Jonik now. Jonik with a long kick. It's going to bounce. Which way it's going to go? It's going to go straight and roll through for another behind. So 4 seven, 31. Chugger just built up ahead of steam. Yeah. <laughs> wasn't stopping. Yeah. I, I thought it was just like sometimes they'll move the ball back and then try and come around the other way. But, uh, you know, we've seen this a couple of times this year. Just a little bit of confusion. In the, Spun uh, around. Yeah. That's the first. Yeah. Thoughts go to the uh, the NFL, the infamous Jim Marshall play, <laughs> scoring the uh, the touchdown again uh, against his own team, the Vikings. Still hate to get actually in front it wasn't of him. A, it wasn't a touchdown. It would wound up being a safety, but uh, still was points. Uh, the kick out now going to uh, number four once again. That's Eric Jordica. and the mark taken by uh, Shepard for the River Rats, who kicks it out now. Garfall gets under it, can't take the mark though, and uh, he's battling now with Chugger. And here comes Druckenmiller. Druckenmiller tries to punch it ahead for Jonik. Jonik's got it now. Jonik kicks it toward goal, and he's going to have it. Eric Jonik with the second goal of the match. 5-7-37 now the score. River Rats over the Lobster Men. That was a good look. He definitely just zeroed in and blew that one through. Nice long kick, too. That was from a left half forward flank, uh, basically. Yeah. Put that one in from. Plenty of power. Nice job there. That one had a little bit to spare. <laughs> and uh, now we're coming back to center once again. And the demon skipper, Al McLean, will put it up. And uh, tapped ahead. Looked like uh, Burbank was going to have a shot at it, but Druckenmiller has it now. Handballs it ahead to Dodge. And here come the River Rats once again. Kick in front. Goes over everyone's head. And it's going to go over everyone's head and everyone go through the posts. So it'll be a behind. 5 8 38, and once again, the Lobstermen will get the kick out from their own back goal square. That one just flew right there. No one could get a grip on it. Matty G to take the kick for the uh, Lobstermen. And up we go, looking for uh, 
Burbank, but Jonah gets in there. He's able to tap it ahead. Still in play. Burbank's got it now. Burbank, oh, taken by Jonah before he can kick the ball away. Jonah soccers it off the ground, gets it to Ben Dodge. Dodge has two goals already. He handballs it ahead, and Druckenmiller's got a Druckenmiller with a kick toward goal, and he's got it. Duds the needle. Bingo. So the man they call Gerbil has his second goal of the match. 6 8 44 now. Smaller field size is paying dividends. They're just able to send it from out a lot closer. Right. He's trying to draw it off the ball, maybe you know, help things even out a bit. Okay, and once again off the ruck. Uh, goes in the hands now of uh, Jordan. He's taken down, though, and uh, trying to move it ahead there is Dodge. Dodge has it now, stops, is able to hang on to it, and just puts a kick on. It's going to go wide, though. Looks like he's missed uh, to the left. That's a behind. But those were some good moves, avoiding the defenders. He... Yeah. Gets it to the boot, is able to kick the single. And so once again, uh, Matty G will take it from his old goal square. And uh, Shippers can't hang on to the mark, but he's got the ball now. Kicks it towards center. Mark taken there by number 15, Robert Frazier. So Frazier's got it right now. Giving a sec for some of the guys to send downfield. And he's got, uh, actually nobody on the lead goes into space and rolls toward the goals and is taken there almost at the back line. And uh, Mark taken there, the uh, initial kick done by uh, Mike Shepard for the uh, River Rats. And tipped by Burbank right over the head of Ben Dodge. Dodge looks like he was lining up to take that mark. And he's able to stay up despite the uh, effort from, uh, and the second effort too. That looks like another behind. Indeed it is. So that was a good job staying up right and keeping a grip on it. Yeah, Burbank uh, trying a couple of times va valiantly to uh, get uh, Ben Dodge down. Dodge able to uh, get through both attempts and then uh, tries to put it on. Winds up going through for a behind. Uh, misses a short uh, to the right-hand side. Actually, I'm sorry. That, that was I'm sorry. He's not. I don't rethink that. It looked like it went through from a behind, but uh, he kicked it outside. It looked like it went out on the full, actually. So there were, were no points awarded there. So disregard that previous uh, behind. That was actually a kick out on the full, not a behind. And and they're going to ball it up. Trying to dispose of it there was a chugger. Just couldn't do it. And up it goes now. He's not big on style points, but he's tenacious. And let's see. Uh, Druckenmiller tries to get it over to chugger. He's got it, takes it to ground. And then is swallowed up by Andrew Burns. The ball comes loose. And a high hit, a high uh, tackle. Chugger will be the beneficiary of that call as he'll get the free kick as the uh, high contact is called against Burns. And he goes, kicks it through, and it's going through for a behind. So now it's 6 10 46. Especially, uh, and, uh, the car's acting as a backstop yeah. for us. Yeah. Uh, kicked up ahead. All right, Jonah can't take the mark, though. With it now is Burns. Burns trying to get away from Jonah. Tries to handball it ahead to Garofalo. Garofalo tries to get it off the ground. And now with it, nice out of side step, but then it's dispossessed. That was Burns. With it now, number 10 for the River Rats. He kicks it ahead, but Shippers will take the defensive mark. Right about to his own center halfback flank. I'm sorry. <laughs> center halfback flank. That's like the right middle side. Hello. <laughs> he takes it at center halfback. There we go. Burbank takes the mark now at the center wing. Sean Burbank looking to kick it up. Goes to the center of the ground. It looks like we've got a river out there to take the mark indeed. And I believe that's Ben Dodge. He's going to play on. He's just going to put the boot into it. Uh, let's see. It's going to bounce. It looks like it's going to be a boundary throw in. Came to the ground just short. Had enough power. It just wasn't quite on. Yep. So it's going to be a... Uh... No, actually... No, it's a throw-in. Yeah, it's a throw-in because it bounced right before the boundary line. Everyone was expecting out on the full, but no, it stopped short. And as a result, uh, it's taken uh, now off the ruck. That was uh, Dave Morton who taps it over to Shippers now. Shippers has it. Kicks it ahead. Looking for Burbank. Takes a bounce. Burbank's got it now. Burbank handballs ahead to a Jordica. Couldn't quite could, cuff it. Couldn't quite connect, though. And it goes to Ben Dodge again. Dodge takes the mark. He's got the free kick right at center. Go, go. 
Let's everybody move into place. Big kick. It'll have the carry. Oh, no, it's touched. I think he got it at the very last second. I think Garofalo touched it. No. I guess he didn't. They're calling it a goal. Yeah, he got full extension, but it wasn't. He got, I, I, thought I, heard, I thought I heard it hit his hand, but apparently I didn't. So 7-10-52 now. The goal they're going to uh, dodge his third of the match. Wingspan wasn't quite enough on that time. Big booming kick from uh, center half forward. Oh, okay. My uh, my spotters here said he did touch it. It just was already over the uh, the line before he touched it. So that's why they awarded him the goal. Good call by the goal umpire, Mark Sleet. And Jordica has it now. Jordica is kicking a goal. Bingo. Mm -hmm. First points of the half for the Lobster Men. 4-2-26. They gotta turn it on if they need if they can catch up. Cause they're not out of it, but they've gotta start, you know, turning it on soon. Well actually right now uh the uh the score is fifty two twenty six, so right now. Um basically the uh, lobster men are halfway down. Kick! Oh it hit the post! That was close. A poster there for the uh, lobster men that looked like it was going through, but uh wound up going right off the sticks. 4-3-27 now. And Shepard takes the kick out for the uh, River Rats. It's spoiled. Play on calls the umpire. Taken down there. Wow, that was Morton taken down there. Think he might have caught him a little high, though. Mm -hmm. Indeed he did. Morton's getting the free kick. I'd like to thank my spotters here, Connor and Kyle. It's got They've eyes everywhere. Me out with some of these calls today. Yeah, I've only get, uh, I only have two eyes. I can only see so much, but these guys have been great helping out. It goes through, and uh, that's a goal. Tight angle. Dave Morton puts it through, gives the Lobstermen another major score. 5-3-33 now. And the Lobstermen are starting to, uh, pardon the expression, claw their way back into this thing. <laughs> that was a great shot, though. It was tight angle, but... Still had plenty of power to make it through. My God, how obvious was that joke? jordica has got it now. He's kicking. And it's going to bounce. Still bounce. And uh, Shepard's going to get there, though. He just tries to soccer it out off the ground. And it looks like, uh, oh, Dodge has it. Uh, Dodge uh, just soccers it ahead. And it's going to go out, and we're going to have a boundary throw in. Although. Bit of a disagreement over what the, uh, how she yeah. come back in. And that's knocked to the ground. And with it now is Burns. Burns sells the candy on Jonik. Nice little move there right around him. He kicks. However, we've got a whistle. Yeah, pushing the back there. I believe, uh, judging from uh, the reaction I heard, Mike Shepard not happy with the call. So the kick is going to be taken now. And it looks like it's going to go right through, and it is. That was too easy for him. He was Shippers again, number four for him. Never mind clawing back. They are roaring back now. This has been a game of uh, definite momentum shifts. A very streaky game. River Rats get a whole bunch of points, and the Lobster Men get a whole bunch of points. So it's ebb and flow. It's been going back and forth. Yeah, it's, and the field size is playing in too because you just need to be on the attack to because it's so tight. You well, yeah. You don't have to be too far out to get the goals. Yeah, you can have you can you can have the ball at center, and uh, you know, if you if you have a, a few people towards the goal, you can try a, a big kick. Yeah, but the swings which, keep it exciting. Yeah, which is why sometimes I call Metro Footy the uh, the uh, arena football of Australian rules. <laughs> and uh, coming off, and here come the uh, River Rats now, and the kick goes into the River Rats forward pocket, and it's going to be out. Uh, it'll be a boundary throw in. Check our hands it off. We'll see who can, uh, if we can get everybody lined up in time. Yeah. Up it goes. Knocked out. Jonik has it now. Gets it back to Ben Dodge. Dodge. Glanced off his foot. It's going to bounce and uh, stay there pretty much in space. It's picked up now by Andrew Burns in the middle. A foot race. And it's going to go past. And Frazier's going to have it. And here come the lobster men once again. Big kick in. And Shepard foul. Shippers is going to have it. Shippers makes a kick. 
It's, it's high. sky high! And it's a... Oh! Did it bounce right in front? Yeah! It looked like it was there. It was super high. It came down right in front and then bounced through the uh, behind post. What a tease there. Oh, my goodness. That was a monster kick. That was just up there forever. Serious hang time. Unfortunately, it landed on one of the corners and kicked right and wound up being a behind instead of a goal. And it's uh, soccered ahead by uh, Burbank there. The Shippers the has attack, it now. Though. Shippers with another kick toward goal. It looks like it's going to go uh, off to the other side. And it's uh, taken by Shepard in front of the face of goal. Didn't even make it uh, for a scoring shot. River Rats get it up, but now the Lobster Men trying to get it. That's uh, Andrew Burns. Goes back now. Uh, Matt Garofalo hand, uh, once again just, uh, or basically just handballing it on the ground to each other. And uh, Drucken Miller tries to get it. Now it's going back. And here comes Burns now. Burns kicks it towards center. Plenty of power. Shippers almost had the mark, but he had Shepard right on him. And uh, Jonik's got it now, although Jonah, Jonah gets dispossessed by Shippers. Shippers going in there after it as well. Still in play. And with it now is Shepard. Shepard handballs it ahead to Druckenmiller. Druckenmiller now kicks it. Going for Chugger. Chugger can't take the mark. It goes right off his hands. Goes to ground now. Matty Garofalo is uh, in there as well. Big battle for it on the ground there. And they're going to ball it up. They were scrapping for that one. That was tight one. I was hoping that they would be able to pull it out. And knocked ahead, but right into the hands of Ben Dodge. Jonik has it now. Jonik tries to kick it ahead toward the goals, and it looks like it's going to go out, and we're going to have a boundary throw in. And off uh, the foot. oh, off the foot and goes right up. And uh, Frazier almost gets it, but the spoil by uh, by uh, Eunice. But now getting is Frazier, who just soccers it along the ground over to Burns. Burns gets around Jonik, and Burns has a kick. He's got Shippers on the lead. If we can find him, Shippers takes the mark. Staying uprights really paid off for Frazier. He's just been able to outweigh people and have them fall. And Shippers with a big kick. Oh, it goes just wide. Another behind. Shippers going for a bag there. Still a great grab, though, by Great him. grab, yeah. He's got four goals right now. One more, and he's got a bag of five. It's one of the uh, cooler funny uh, footy terms. Kicking a bag of goals. I think they're usually like anything five or over. And the kick out taken, uh, the mark there by Druckenmiller. And right now he's got the ball. He is at... Uh, Waiting for options. Yep, he is at left halfback flank. Looking for Jonik at the center wing. Jonik's got it now. Jonik looking to kick ahead. And it goes over everyone's head. It's going to bounce. It's going to roll. Stays in, though. Oh. Spoke too soon. Yep. We're going to have a boundary throw in now. As all the players hydrate. And so shall I. <laughs> The Lobster Red have battled back. They only trail by 11 now. Jonik has it at center half forward. Kick through, behind. Or that go out on the full, no, that's a behind. 7, 11, 53 now. So the Lobster Men have it again. The kick out from their own back goal square. They trail by two goals right now, 53 to 41. They got to rally if they want to take this one late. Yep. And let's see, he goes over everyone's head. Going for Shippers. Shippers has it now. Shippers makes the move. Shippers is just going to be a, uh, go a big shot. And it's going to bounce. And oh, it's going to be touched. That was a mad dash to spoil that one. Once again, that elusive bag of five. 6-6-42 six, six, now. And once again, the uh, River Rats will take the kick out now from their own back goal square. They're keeping it tight, though. Yeah, only 11 points right now. And with it is Ben Dodge along the center wing. Handball to Druckenmiller. Druckenmiller gets it now. Kicks uh, in towards, he's got uh, a battle there, a contest between Chugger and also Garofalo. And we've got another uh, call and a free kick's going to be awarded. Which way is it going? It's going uh, in the favor of the Lobstermen. Have a kick up now. They've got Burbank. Burbank takes the mark. Burbank goes. He plays on. 
and uh, the kick there. Shippers tried to take the mark behind Shepard. Shippers has it now. Shippers in close, takes a shot, and kicks a goal. It's official. Shippers has a bag of five. And they're really punishing the River Rats for not converting on all those shots. And once again, like we had last time, the difference right now in this Metro game is five points. Right now it's 53 to 48 in favor of the River Rats. If the Lobster Men can kick another goal, they'll hit the front. They'll be in the lead. Five points of difference right now late in this game. River Rats 53, Lobster Men 48. They really got to step on it, though. Yep. Burbank tries to knock it ahead. It goes right through uh, uh, Jordica. With it now is Frazier. Frazier makes a move. Frazier's going to kick. And, oh, it's going to go wide. He had plenty of space, but he was... Plenty of space, but uh, just didn't have the aim. And uh, you know, searching for the ball now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe we should be playing with the night one just to... Yeah. <laughs> no, at this point, they had the glow-in-the-dark ball. So, it actually, it did wind up going out on the full, so no points there. Shepard gets the uh, free kick. And it goes over everyone's head. Taken there by Burbank. Turns Burbank it kicks it ahead. And uh, the mark almost taken. It's uh, fisted ahead by Morton. However, Jonik now gets it over to Dodge. Dodge tackled, but... Druckenmiller's got it now. Nobody but uh, uh, River Rats here on this end of the ground. Ben Dodge has it. Chuck it with the block. And he's just going to kick it through. Behind. It's a behind. Oh, my goodness. Squanders the opportunity. Oh, big time. And sometimes when you when you squander opportunities like that, they can come back to bite you in the tail. And right now, the mark uh, taken. Oh, it's full time. Not oh, quite enough. Just, oh. just. Nice tight game once again. Decided, uh, this time it was decided by a goal. Final score, the River Rats, seven goals, 12 behinds, 54 points. And the Lobster Men, seven goals, six behinds, 48 points. Good play by both the teams today. And, uh, uh, of course, the uh, the big players are for the Lobster Men. Well, Shippers, obviously, with the five goals. All of the score sheet. Uh, yeah, well, most of the score sheet. You also had goals from uh, Jordica and uh, Morton as well. On the uh, Victoria side, the River Rats, you had uh, four, uh, three goals by Ben Dodge, two by Ross Druckenmiller, and two by Ari Jonik. So there you go, 3-2-2, three, two, two, that's seven. Seven goals, 12 behinds, 54 points. So that'll do it for the first half of this uh, installment of state, Stateside Footy. Once again, the final score, the River Rats 54 and the Lobster Men 48. Coming up next, we've got another match. Stay tuned for it. You're watching Zadie's Rainbow Metro Footy right here on Stateside Footy. Coming home can be hard if you're a veteran of Iraq or Afghanistan. You may feel like you're all alone, but you're not alone. At IAVA.org, your fellow vets are all around you. Join our free online community, get the resources you need, and connect to other vets who know where you're coming from. IAVA.org, we've got your back. We're back on the ground here. Today we have uh, Metro Footy with the uh, members of the Boston Demons. And uh, what they do is, as we uh, explained in the, uh, at the outset of the show, they break up into three teams. There's the Lobster Men, there's the Buffaloes, and there are also the River Rats. They break up into a three-team competition, the uh, Metro competition. And uh, they play for the uh, championship trophy, which they call the Chowder Cup. And the standings right now, the Buffalo is in uh, last place at the bottom of the ladder. They've uh, so far had uh, two losses. They lost to the, uh, I'm sorry, the Buffaloes have one loss. They lost to the uh, River Rats. River Rats have two wins, actually, so they're atop the ladder. And uh, in the middle of things, we've got the, uh, the uh, Lobstermen who we just saw. So the Lobstermen have their second game and the uh, competition. They're going to be taking on the Buffaloes. So this is the second game for both the Buffaloes and the Lobster Men, so we'll give you a little better picture of that ladder uh, once uh, these two teams finish up with uh, what they're doing here. Once again, this is the uh, Zadie's Rainbow uh, Metro competition. We talked about it a little bit. It's a charitable and outreach effort in Australia. Getting set for the uh, center ball up now, and here we go. Going up and knocked ahead by uh, Paul Kupke, who's the uh, Demon's normal ruckman. Going ahead down to McLean. McLean can't get it, though. And uh, tripping over the ball there, uh, trying to get it is Kupke now. Kupke back over to McLean. 
McLean kicking ahead, kicking toward goal, and that's going to be a behind. Still a strong start, though. Absolutely. First points of the uh, match going to the Buffaloes. Mm -hmm. Buffaloes leading now 1 0 with uh, one behind for a score. Plenty of power on that one, too. Absolutely. So now the uh, Lobstermen take the kick out. Lobstermen just coming off a tough, tough loss to the River Rats, in which at one point they lost by 26. Coming up to ground now with it for the Lobstermen once again. That's uh, number two, whom I don't have here. Anyway, they've got it in. Kick there. That's a goal. That's uh, Adam Shippers again. Shippers kicked the back of goals in the last game, and he uh, just keeps on going right here. Not showing fatigue from the last one. They're just pushing on through. Absolutely. So Ads uh, puts through another one. So he, that's his sixth goal of this episode of this competition today. So now he's at uh, six goals. The Lobster Men are at uh, one goal straight six. And uh, Drucker Miller's come on wearing the number eight for the Buffaloes. And, Marching uh, up the field. And that's going to be... That's going to be a goal. Did we see who kicked that? I think that was Al. That was Al McLean. Okay, McLean with a goal there for the Buffaloes. Captain leading by example. Oh, absolutely. Al McLean, the captain of the Boston Demons this season. So McLean with the kick there, and they'll uh, bring it back out to center. So as quickly as the Lobstermen take the lead with a goal, the Buffaloes grab the lead back with a goal. So it's now 1-1-7 for the Buffaloes, one straight six for the Lobstermen. Goes up. And uh, it's punched ahead, and it goes back now to Frazier. Frazier on the move. And balls it to uh, number two. Who's going to kick it right in front, and it's uh, touched. Touching in front there, and uh, it's going to go over, it looks like. It's a behind, yeah. looks like, okay. Mm -hmm. So it's a behind for the lobster men. So right now the uh, scores are level. We're at 117, or is it? They're kicking it back out to center. Was that a goal? That was a goal. Oh, wow. He's a warning man. Yep. So uh, who kicked that one? I didn't see who kicked that one. So. Ads. ads, okay. Shippers again. So. 2 1 13. Shippers with the second goal of the match. Seventh, uh, seventh goal of the afternoon. I got a tennis match. Lacomi has it now for the Buffaloes. Tries to kick it through, and it goes. Right through for a goal. Off to a roaring start here. Both sides just marching down the field and yep. scoring a will. And the man they call Kidney, George Lacombe, kicks one for the Buffaloes. So now, once again, scores a level with 13 apiece. Trying to keep the score straight. I look up, there's someone else kicking the goal. It's like, whoa! We need some interns. <laughs> I think so. All right, here we go once again. Up we go with center. Tipped out by Kupke, back to McLean, who then kicks it ahead. Looking for Lacomi. However, it's tipped away by Burbank. Joe Connor has it now. Can't hang on to it, though. Getting away Still from battling it. for it. Taken down by Burbank. He's dispossessed. kupke has got it now. He handballs it to Lacomi. Handball to Connor. Connor smothered. The kick was smothered by Gar Garofalo. Holding the man, so it's going to be a free kick award, it looks like, to the Lobster Men. So the Lobster Men will take the free kick. I believe it's uh, Matt Garofalo who's going to get it. He's got the free kick. Still haven't quite ironed it out. Yeah, I, th I thought the kick, no, actually the kick was going to uh, Joe Connor. I was confused. I thought he was pointing his arm toward the uh, lobster man, but I guess not. Connor with a big kick. Lacombe takes the mark right in front of the line. Dangerous position. And it uh, looks like uh, Kidney may get his second here. All he has to do is kick straight, which he does. Mm -hmm. Second goal there by the man they call Kidney. Nice and easy, just like they practiced it. Absolutely. So Lacomi puts the uh, Buffaloes ahead now. By a score of 19 to 13 now. Three goals, one behind, 19 points. Two goals, one behind, 13 points for the Lobster Men. That really paid off from the little bit of a disagreement on what, who was going to end up. Yeah, I, 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 first when he was talking, when the uh, umpire was talking about the uh, the infraction, uh, he had his uh, he had his right arm pointed out. He must have been pointing out the mark, not the. Uh, 
the uh, direction of uh, who the ball was going to. And it's knocked ahead once again by Kupke. Kupke, so good at those center clearances, gets it out now. And uh, Druckenmiller gets it over to Kupke. Over Lacomi, over everybody. It's going to go out uh, off the ground, so it'll be a boundary throw-in. Boundary throw-in in the uh, Buffalo's uh, right front pocket. Couldn't use the wingspan on that, I thought. I thought he was going to rope that one in. Mm. So heads up, we'll see who can get underneath this one. Taken there and uh, moved ahead. Dave Morton tries to get ahead, but uh, Joe Connor tracks it down now. He's dispossessed by Morton, but then his uh, kick out is uh, smothered by Kupke. Battle for it goes out of bounds, and it looks like we'll have another throw in. Indeed, we will. And tipped ahead once again by Kupke. Over to McLean. McLean picks it up. McLean goes around uh, Jordica and kicks it right through the sticks for a goal. Big Al McLean, his second major score of the proceeding here. Swam right through the defense and just sent that one right home. Indeed. 4-1-25 now for the Buffaloes. They increased their lead. They're now two goals clear. And once again, we'll ball it up at center. Guys taking their time on the walk in. And we're starting to feel that heat now, boys. Mm -hmm. Let's see and what the pace uh, is gets like over now uh, off the uh, ruck uh, from uh, Kupke out to Connor, who kicks it ahead. But then it's taken uh, by Morton, who's dispossessed with a tackle. But it's punched ahead. First one there, though, is going to be Ross Druckenmiller. Druckenmiller handballs it to McLean. McLean with a kick. He's got Lacomi there alone. If he can get it, he's got it. He turns it around. George Lacomi has his third goal. Absolutely. 5 1 31 now. All by himself. He just had to walk that one in. Yeah, nobody even near him. All he had to do was pick up the ball and get control of it, get it to the boot, and it was for the most part a foregone conclusion. Of course, you don't want to say that ahead of time because yeah. a lot of times it seems a foregone conclusion, and all of a sudden it uh, winds up off a post or something. Goodness knows, just with the games that we've done, uh, we've seen enough of that. In fact, uh, one of the, the first episode we did last year, there was one of those where the guy had it right in front, all alone, and just clanged it right off the post. McLean gets it off the rock and gets through traffic and kicks it toward. It looks like it's going to go left. Indeed it will. That's going to be a behind, so it's 5-2-32 now. He's got that power. He can send it from pretty much anywhere. Yeah, it's funny. We were mentioning the uh, the first episode. It was uh, this past Sunday. It was a year ago that we shot episode number mm -hmm. one. Kyle was with me for that one, and I guess this is the uh, the de facto stateside footy anniversary special. So uh, special, yeah. Kyle's back in the uh, portable press box with me today. The kick out from the back goal square now aimed for Shippers. He gets it on one bounce, then kicks it uh, looking for uh, Garofalo, who gets it off one hop, then kicks it uh, looking for Shippers. Shippers has it now. Hand tries to handball it over to Burbank. Burbank uh, just moves it ahead, but Druckenmiller is in hot pursuit. Druckenmiller's got it now. Handball to Kupke. Kupke now is able to kick it. Uh, Lacomi going for the mark, and it's going to bounce. Oh, it's going to kick uh, to the left, to the right, rather. And it's going to go through for a behind. That was an unfriendly bounce for them. Yeah. Looked like it was going to go through, but uh, then it hit the ground, and just uh, the way the point of the ball had, or the... Uh, mm -hmm. The oblong part of the ball just kicked to the right, wound up going through for a behind, and now uh, Jordica will take it uh, out of his own goal square, his own defensive goal square. Kick it up to Frazier, who almost gets it off a of bounce. He's got it now off the ground. Handball back to Garofalo, who kicks it ahead now looking for Shippers. Off a of bounce, Shippers got it. Handball over, and now with it is uh, Burbank. Burbank, handball back to Shippers. Shippers, he's just going to let it fly. It's going to go long, oh, and no. it's going to go. Oh, it's going to be uh, through for a behind, it looks like. And indeed it is. That's the Buffalo's turn. Uh, Lobsterman. Oh, fishing down there? Yeah. Someone's got to root around. Yeah. No. Someone's got to fish around. When you're doing something Australian, you don't want to use the word root. Words of the wise. Which is why they say that uh, when you uh, support a certain team, you barrack for them. You should give the officials a weed whacker down there. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was thinking just like one of those uh, long-distance flamethrowers like the Army's got. Just clear right out. Yeah, we had to burn this footy ground to save it. All right, here we go. Kick out from the Buffaloes. Aim for Kupke. Garofalo stops it, but Kupke winds up with it. But then handballs it into space and taking it there. Burbank and Shippers. Shippers now goes right past Burbank. Shippers is going after it again. And... Uh, just uh, handballs it out into space. It's a battle for it now. 
And they're coming with it. Uh, that is uh, number two. And now with his shippers. Standing on the Shippers attack. kicks ahead. And the mark taken by Frazier. Robert Frazier, number 15. All, all alone surrounded there. Takes the mark at uh, right around uh, left half forward flank. And a big booming kick. Got the size. It's got the, it definitely has the carry, but uh, not the direction as it goes through for a behind. So now it's uh, Buffalo's 33, Lobstermen 15. Lobstermen with two goals, three behinds. Right now the Buffaloes with as many goals as the Lobstermen have scoring shots. And uh, taking the uh, kick out once again, that uh, looks like Kupke. And goes over oh, everyone's head. Yeah. Taking it now is Burbank. Burbank dispossessed, though, as he gets uh, touched there by uh, James Murphy. And now with it is uh, Connor. Connor is just going to run with it. And Connor kicks it a long way. And goes uh, right. He's just missed. Little, that was close. That was a little four thirty four. Joe Connor, by the way, is the director of this year's Metro competition. So uh, all the logistics that are taking place as part of this competition this year, Joe Connor is the uh, Demons member who's been heading it up. Mm -hmm. Kick out now. Goes into the hands of Kupke. And he deserves some credit. He This is better run than uh, some of the teams are at my college. <laughs> I give him credit where credit's due. I didn't know they played footy at your college. <laughs> they barely play um, anything. Yeah. <laughs> Big kick from Kupke. Big goal from Kupke. Nice one there from the uh, Buffalo's Ruckman. Actually, the Demons Ruckman, too. Yeah, either way, the, the Demons look good. Yes, indeed. And right now, the Buffaloes are ahead 6 4 40 to the Lobstermen's 2 3 15. Buffalo is looking to get a little clearance here. And uh, knocked ahead, uh, but into the hands of a Buffalo. But then with it now is Shippers. Shippers tries to kick it ahead, looking for the lead there. Handball over to Frazier. Frazier with a kick, a grubber, and a goal. Robert Frazier. Don't try some big thing that somebody can run in and catch. Just try a grubber. Mm -hmm. Let the ball do all the work, and in this case it did. Was that? Oh, that was a behind. I'm sorry. I thought that was a goal. That was a behind. I heard, I heard clapping. I heard applause, and I thought goal. But indeed, double checking with our scouts, it was a behind. It's hard to tell when it just creeps along like that. Yeah. So actually, it's two four sixteen now. Once again, only two goals so far for the Lobstermen. Both of them kicked by number seven, Adam Shippers. So we have the boundary throw in, and uh, Kupke tries to uh, move it ahead here. Shippers has it now. Shippers with a big kick. Looking for somebody in space, however. Oh, and trying to get behind the defender. He actually abdicated the uh, the mark, and it's taken by the Buffaloes. And uh, kick out now. High kick. Jonik's there. But uh, that high kick gave uh, Burbank the opportunity to go in and spoil it. And oh, they pay the advantage. And Kupke's going to kick the goal. That's all he needed. A little bit of confusion there, but... Uh, I basically, we're going to call something in that uh, contest uh, for that uh, kick, but uh, the umpire uh, paid the advantage to the Buffaloes. Mm -hmm. Basically, mean the, the Buffaloes could just play on with it, and indeed they did, and Paul Kupke's picked up two goals in a row. Yeah, he was right on the doorstep. He didn't even have to try. Well, you better be lucky than good sometimes. Absolutely. So now uh, they lead by 30 now. The lead is five goals for the Buffaloes. And coming out of the ruck, once again, Druckenmiller kicks it ahead. Looking for That's Lacomi. It's going to roll. It's going it to stay out, yeah. in play for now. Now it goes out of bounds, and we'll have a boundary throw in. Boundary throw in at the uh, Buffaloes, almost their front pocket. And kicked out by Burbank, looking for somebody in space, anybody. Yeah. Four people Buffaloes. there, but they're all wearing the opposite jumper. With it now is Kupke. Kupke kicks it ahead looking for George Lacomi. And it's just going to go and uh, oh. it's going to go out of bounds, actually. Boundary throw in. Friendly bounce for the uh, Lobstermen. Yeah. Although, once again, not a bad result for the uh, Buffaloes either because mm. 
you know, the, the throw-in comes from their uh, right front pocket. Yep, still on the attack. And the tip over. Kick through. Makes it. Oh, touched. And that's going to be a behind. So the Buffaloes now extending their lead, 7-5-47. We're getting a little bit of a musical accompaniment out there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> looks, like the, looks like we're in band camp. And uh, the kick out. Oh, almost goes out there to. Uh, Deflected it right at him. Yeah, uh, to Morton. Chest. Morton is able to get it, though, and handballs it over to Byrne. It goes over the head. And uh, I believe uh, Jordan was trying to get that. It's, uh, I was going to say it's still in play, but it just went out. So we'll have a, another throw in. Right about at uh, left, left half forward flank for the Lobstermen. Oh, big slap there by Kupke out of the ruck, but it's going to go right out of yeah, bounds again. That will be a boundary throw in on the center wing. Hopefully Lobstermen can take advantage of this one and you know, sort of swing the momentum back the way. We saw the last game was so much about you know, momentum shifts. Mm. Well, there's going to have to be a momentum shift because right now the Buffaloes are just running away with it. Jonik has it now. Kick over and... Oh, slotting mark taken there by Dave Morton. Nice job by uh, the man wearing the number five jumper for the Lobsterman. It's going to be a foot race for it. Goes to Shippers now. Shippers ahead to Jordica. Jordica gets the handball. He kicks, and it looks like it's going to miss to the right. An angle, yeah. And indeed it will. So that'll be a behind for the Lobsterman. 2 5 17 now for the Lobsterman. You're really going to have to be stingy and here. And the kick out goes to Druckenmiller. He takes the mark. At left halfback flank. He kicks it ahead now. Big Line kick towards drive. center. Oh, can't, uh, can't be uh, pulled in by Lacomi, though. And uh, handball from Jordica over to Morton. Goes Burns. Oh, he just can't hang on to it. All he had the, the mark yeah. all alone. Ari Jonik's in there now. Tries to move around him. Oh, Jordica. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. That's not Jordica. That's uh, Burn. Jonik, I was uh, trying to say. And the uh, kick is smothered, but then Jonik gets it right back and kicks it. And there's Jordica. And with it now is, uh, oh, Ooh. shanks it. <laughs> it's going to be a boundary throw in. He's kicking himself. Lacomi had it right in front. He had it right in front. Had a clear shot at the post. Uh, angle was a little off, but he, he tried to do it. But uh, actually wound up just uh, kicking it off. The, looked like it went off the side of his foot. Right across the face of goal and over the boundary line. And we'll have a throw in now mm -hmm. in the uh, Buffalo's right front pocket. We'll see if the Buffaloes can make up for the mistake on that one. Two on one, though. Right now, the Buffaloes do have numbers. Kicked ahead. Lacomi is all alone. Oh. Went to take the mark. Would have gone through the goalpost, but uh, since it went off the hands of uh, Lacomi trying to take the mark, winds up being just a behind. If that ball wasn't touched, it was a goal for Al McLean. Hopefully that won't come back to haunt from those missed opportunities. As my pen launches off my thumb. <laughs> Bing! Batwang! Boing! And off the kick out. Taken by Shippers, and Shippers will move it ahead now. Shippers just kicks it into space looking for somebody, anybody. And it's loose. And no it's still loose. It. And with it now, kicking for a goal is number two. We'll have to check who, who that is at halftime. Every, that got past everyone. No one could seem to. Uh, yeah, but hey, you know, here we go. 3 5 23 now for the Lobster Men. And when you're as hard up for momentum as they are, you take yep. what you can get it. And up we go again. Oh, knocked out by Burbank, but then Jonah gets it, handballs it ahead. Handed grab. Oh, boy. And uh, goes there. Drucker Miller. Oh, Nice shepherd there by Morton, and he kicks it ahead, and it's going to bounce. And which way is it going to bounce? It's taken there by the Buffaloes, and they kick it ahead. Off one bounce goes to Kupke now. Kupke has it at center. Kick ahead looking for Lacomi. Lacomi can't take it. He's being uh, harassed there by Garofalo. With it now is Joe Connor. Connor with a really high towering kick. And it's touched before it goes over the line. It was going through the sticks had someone not gotten there. Yeah, he laid out for that one. Seven, seven, forty-nine. We're doing multiplication tables here as we hit halftime. 
One half of this game is in the books, and the score stands. The Buffaloes, seven goals, seven behinds, 49 total points. And the Lobstermen, three goals, five behinds, 23 points. Coming up next, we'll have second half action. The Buffaloes and the Lobstermen. It's Metro Footy competition right here on Stateside Footy. Where's my husband? Where's my Never husband? Stop. How's she doing? Two, she three. was a passenger. Uh, I was T-boned on the passenger yeah, side. Right, we just had some wine. I wasn't even drunk. I was just buzzed. What? You were just buzzed. Well, so you didn't tell us that. In that case, she's just fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Really? No, nah, not really. Buzz driving. What? Maybe we should stop acting like it's no big deal. Uh, <laughs> Here we go, studying, uh, getting set for a second half action here. Once again, the Buffalo is leading right now by a score of seven, uh, 49 to 23. And coming off the rock, Buffalo is going to be the first ones there. Jonik tries to handball it ahead, can't do it. And uh, oh, big shepherd there by Ben Dodge, by the way. Who's wearing number two? And uh, who's got a goal now for the uh, Lobstermen? He actually uh, kicked uh, some goals against them as a member of the River Rats in the first game we saw today. And a battle for it. It's uh, going close to the boundary. And it's uh, kicked out. Question is, did it go out on the full? Because it did go off the foot and then uh, went over the line. And it uh, did. All it has to do is deflect off the foot if it goes uh, through the air over the boundary line. It's out on the full, which means the other team gets a free kick, which is what happens here as it's kicked in now by Thomas Goal. It's taken there by uh, Jordica. Kupke tries to get it. Handballs it ahead. And it's... Uh, now, oh, down he goes. I believe that was Dodge taken down by Druckenmiller. And a big kick ahead for the Lobstermen. Looking for shippers. Getting McLean, though. McLean with the defensive mark. At center halfback. And the mark taken there by Paul Kupke at center. Looking to set up somebody in space. That was a line big drive. Kick. Yeah, huge. The Comey takes the mark. Taking advantage of that wingspan. Yep. Kidney's got the mark, and it uh, looks like he will take the kick uh, from, uh, well, actually, more towards the uh, front pocket than uh, the uh, half forward flank. About a 45 degree angle. Sends it and up. Comey will kick it. And it's bending back, and not enough, though. It's a behind. One right over the post, I think. Yep. But once again, it's the Buffaloes who continue their scoring ways. Mm -hmm. And coming out with it now, that's, I believe that's Sean Burbank will take the kick out. They're not making the most of it, but they're keeping the Lobsterman off the board, which is yep. almost as important. Burbank with the kick out now. Ooh. Looking for Morton. I think he shanked that one a little bit. He did. It's going to go out, but it's uh, not out on the full. It bounced out, so uh, as a result, we'll have a boundary throw in. Not a bad result if you're the Buffaloes. Actually, no. Uh, the, bu the Buffaloes kicked it in. Mark taken there. I wonder if they called it. Uh, it didn't look like it went out on the full, but. Well, the free kick anyway. Uh, Mark taken by Kupke. And the kick Slides just stays it. inside the post. That was huge. Just stays inside the post. The hair's breath away. Yeah, and so eight, eight, 56 now. Another goal by Paul Kupke. So you've got uh, the big man in this uh, Buffalo's line. You've got uh, McLean, you've got uh, Kupke, and you've got Lacomi all uh, registering goals for the Buffaloes. And uh, score now stands. Buffalo's eight goals, eight behinds, 56 points. Lobstermen, 3 5 23. And Kupke taps it ahead again, but the first person that's going to be there is J uh, Jordica, who picks it up now. Turns it around. Tries to kick it out into space. The only person there is Kupke, but it takes a weird bounce, goes back over his head, and then back to him. And Kupke will uh, take it now and kick it, looking for Joe Connor, that's but it's taken instead by Garofalo. Garofalo trying to find shippers, not quite. And Dodge. Trying to move it ahead now. He's pushed down with it to Shippers. Shippers trying to kick it. I think. And, oh, oh, no, it's a behind. Behind by Shippers. 3 6 24. Is that, is that the first of the half? Yes, uh, the first uh, point of the half of the Lobstermen, indeed. 3 6 24 now to 8 8 56. And uh, taking the kick out, that's a McLean. And the mark yeah, uh, taken there. 
by Paul Kupke. Kupke kicks it in towards center. Contact on that. Oh, big time. Uh, Druckenmiller has it now. Just cruising down the field right now. And uh, looking to set it up. They've got Lacomi on the lead. Can't take the sliding mark, though. As a result, he's out of the play. Uh, collision there between, I believe it was Druckenmiller and uh, Sean Burbank. Jonik has it now. Jonik with a handball ahead. Connor's got it. Connor kicks it. And it's a behind. Not on target for Joe Connor. 8 9 57 now the score for the Buffaloes. Still, still dangerous though because you know they're just robbing them of chances by just keeping it in their attack in third. Absolutely. Really just making their offense die on the vine. As we have aircraft flying overhead, much Drums, like we did the aircraft. last time we had. Well, last time we had, uh, last time we did a Metro game, there were there were, air, uh, there were aircraft everywhere, helicopters, because uh, of course the Bruins parade was going on across the river in Boston as we were in Cambridge. Kick out now by the uh, Lobster Men, and he's getting. Oh, Andrew Burns can't hold the mark, but he's able to uh, get it to Shippers. Shippers kicks uh, forward now, and it rolls, and it's going to be a behind. So another behind for the Lobster Men. Three seven twenty five now. He just can't seem to line up a major score. Mm -hmm. They've only had three so far. Two by Shippers, one by Dodge. Does that mean we have to have lanterns by the goalpost? One if by, two if by Shippers and one if by Dodge? I don't know. Anyway, uh, coming out of the kickout now, it goes up ahead and uh, getting it there is Thomas Goal. Tries to get it to Kupke. Getting it there is Dodge. Dodge handballs to Jordica. He kicks now looking for Shippers. Shippers has it at center half forward. Dropped right on him. And let's see if... Uh, Waits for reinforcements. Shippers can put some oomph into this kick here. Seems to have the carry. Does it have the aim? Yes, it does. Shippers with another goal. 4-7-31 now. Plenty of power on that one. They've been waiting on one of those. Absolutely. Hopefully that'll breathe a little life into their side. Because most of the time they've just been scrambling to keep up. Mm -hmm. But now they trail by uh, 26 points. It's still four goals, too. Still have a... How would Jerry West put it? Long way to go and a short time to get there. East pounding down, loading up some footy. And uh, we have a push in the back call. And it's going against the uh, lobster men, it looks like. The uh, Buffaloes will take the free kick. In case you're curious, the lobster men are the uh, guys in the red jumpers with the the anchor logo on the front. The Buffaloes are the guys in the uh, the black jumpers with the gold X that kind of makes them look like Racer X from the Speed Racer film. <laughs> and goes in front, and Jonik has it. Jonik is able to kick it through for a uh, behind. It was touched, so it's a behind. Thanks to our spotters. Yes, our I spotters. I that one. <laughs> yeah, thanks to our spotters, Connor and Cal today, who are helping out. 8, 10, 58 now. And it's coming up. Run. Shippers. Oh, Shippers can't hold the mark. He's got it now, though. Gets around Jonik, is able to kick it ahead. He's got Jordica there. Jordica takes the mark at center. Jordica plays on, kicks it up, and Dodge takes the mark. Waits for a few more options. And uh, kicks it in. Bingo! Lofts it right in. Big goal there. So 5 7 37 now. And Dodge with another goal. So it's basically been Shippers and Dodge. Those are the uh, goal scorers for the Lobster Men. Buffalo's three goal scorers. McLean, Lacomi, Kupke. Then again, you're only talking, what, six, seven players aside? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six to seven, actually. So, yeah. Kind of limited for options. Yeah. It's not like you're going to have like a list of goal, goal kickers a mile long. Uh, Dodge takes it now, looking for Burbank on the lead. Burbank's got it, takes the mark, and sets up for the free kick. Thought about playing on, but uh, Jonik was closing in. 
Starting to shift everybody in the head, hoping to get a little more offense rolling. Trying to get some numbers in front. He's just going to let it fly. Oh, defensive mark taken. Robbed that him. was going to go through the sticks, but Cupkey winds up taking it. That was everything but through. Yeah. Nice job there by the uh, Buffalo's Ruckman. And he kicks it out now. Nice big long kick. Oh, taken there. I believe that was Dodge that took it. I think so, yeah. And he's got Burns right there. Burns takes the mark at center half forward. Actually, it's probably more right half forward flank. Wherever it is, he's got the kick. It's got the carry, but it does not no, that's all. have the direction. I believe it was. Uh, it's going to be out on the full. Yep, out on the full. So, as a result, Cupke will have the uh, the kick from just outside the behind post. And he just kicks it to himself, and he's going to play on. Cupke moves with it now, and he's got McLean on the lead. McLean takes the mark, and he plays on. Trying to get it to Druckenmiller. It goes over his too head. Too much on that one, yeah. A little too much mustard on that one. And uh, it goes to ground now. Battle for it. They try and handball it over. Jonak picks it up now off the ground. Ari Jonak kicks it toward goal. And it's going to go right up and uh, through for a behind. So another point for the Buffaloes. 8-11-59. Just chipping away at him now. Yep. Jonak going to take the kick out. Looking for Burbank, and he's got him. He's got him in the left back pocket. Tries to kick up to center now, looking for Burns. Burns takes the mark. The contested mark in traffic with Joe Connor right on him. And he plays on, sells the candy, gets past Connor. Kick out now, going to dodge, and he gets it. He gets word from downfield to keep yeah. moving. Whoop, hello. Kepke's right there. Oh, boy. Had prior opportunity to dispose of the ball. Kupke takes him down with the, cat, uh, the tackle. As a result, he gets called for holding the ball. Kupke with the tackle there. He's going to get a free kick for his efforts. And once again, a line drive kick. And the mark taken at center by Al McLean. McLean just a little stab kick ahead on a bounce. Taken there by James Murphy. Murphy now has it still. Kicks it, looking for somebody on the lead. He's got Druckenmiller right there. Gets the mark on that in one. In front. He's got uh, Lacomi and Jonik in tight. Right now the Buffaloes have numbers. And he's just going to take that big kick and put it right through the sticks. 9-11-65 now. Ross Druckenmiller with the goal. Nice one, too. Big booming kick. No doubt about that one. So the score stands 65 to 37 now in favor of the Buffaloes. Players stopped down to hydrate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been mostly Buffaloes, but yeah. you know, still some flashes of brilliance from Lobstermen. And as it goes up, punches the head. Oh. And the free kick. Uh, an infraction in the ruck, or an infraction in the rack, or whatever. So but anyway, Kepke gets the free kick, and the mark is taken there, Lacomi. Lacomi has it now, right about to uh, right half forward flank. See what he does with it. And it's bending, but it's not going to bend far enough. It's going to go through for a behind. And we may have to send Lewis and Clark in after that one. You said that one's sailing through, that thing. Oh, head. yeah. Good thing those trees there. We have to send a car after it. <laughs> now you mean a bobcat. Some pretty thick brush there, but they got it. Nice recovery efforts there. And here comes the uh, kick out again. And they've got uh, Ben Dodge there. The right back pocket. He kicks it ahead now. Looking for Jordica. Goes through him. Looks like Druckenmiller is going to be the first one there. He handballs it over to uh, Murphy. Back to Druckenmiller who kicks it ahead. In front of Al McLean, but it's going to take a fortunate bounce. He's going to be able to get it. Tries to handball it to Lacomi. It goes to ground now, and Jordic has got it. Handball over to Morton. Into space. And uh, getting in now is Burns. Burns trying to get around Connor. Handball back to Garofalo. They've got Shippers on the lead if they can get him. 
Bounces right over his head, though. Shippers has it, though. Shippers right in front. Sends it. And it's going to be a goal. They give him it. Adam Shippers with another goal. That one sort of got away from him, but he made the most of it once he finally reined it in. All right, 6-7-43 now for the Lobster Men. Shippers has four goals. Dodge has the other two. Four goal kickers for the Buffaloes today. McLean, Lacomi, Kupke, and Druckenmiller. Right now the score stands. The Buffaloes 9-12-66 to the Lobster Men 6-7-43. So still a 23-point deficit that the Lobster Men must overcome with time running out. Connor takes it now, just moves it up ahead to Kupke, who then kicks it, looking for Lacomi. And Lacomi is able to take it. Down? And he's, oh, he did. Wasn't the mark, but uh, uh, it, was, it was a behind. Somebody touched it. Yeah, somebody, uh, so there we go. Somebody touched it, so 9-13-67. Buffalo is back up by four goals. Thanks for watching, by the way. This is a Stateside Footy, of course, the show all about Australian rules football as it's played here in the United States. As the Lobstermen take the kick out, and it goes right through the hands of Dodge. Jonik has it now. He's trying to get it, but uh, there we go. He's got it now. And the kick ahead. And it's going to bounce. Lacombe's going to try and get it again. Lacombe's got it. And he handballs it back to Druckenmiller. Druckenmiller gets it on the boot. Will it? And he uh, gets it through for a behind. I think there was some contact in there. Yeah, 9-14-68. They just can't get it out. The Lobstermen just kick it, and then it seems to come right back at them as the wind <laughs> picks up here yes. as the mobile press box. And uh, the kick out. Oh, it goes right to Dodge, and here it Go comes. It. Oh, Jordan had it, but he couldn't hang on to it. We were about to say the Lobstermen are away. Not quite. They've got it once again. Here comes Dodge. Dodge is on the move. He's out running Connor. Takes a kick and scores the goal, it looks like. Let's see if they award it to him. Let's see. Uh, let's check with the goal umpire here. Actually, uh, they're not awarding anything because there was a whistle. Oh, they're calling it back? They're calling it back because of an infraction, the free kick given to uh, Joe Connor. I wasn't sure if they were calling it an infraction or they were calling time. Kupke takes the mark there. At halfback, he kicks it ahead now. Up to half forward. A screamer. Oh, okay. That's uh, well, what happened was uh, too many steps without a bounce, which is why they uh, called that one back, which is why they uh, blew the whistle. High Shippers. Oh, it goes over him. It's going to outrun everybody. No, Shippers keeps it in play, but then it goes out. Still not a bad result for the uh, Lobster Men as they will get the uh, boundary throw in deep in their territory. So that's what happened. The, the, the kick in, uh, what had happened was uh, there were too many steps taken uh, without bouncing the ball off the ground, and that's why. They had called that one back. And uh, they try and uh, get it over to Shippers off of the boundary throw-in. Instead, though, it's kicked out by Ari Jonik. Going for it now is Burbank. Burbank just trying to jostle it ahead. Gets around McLean. Ari Jonik has it now. He's still got it. Kick up to center. He's got Druckenmiller on the lead. It bounces, but takes a nice bounce for him. It. And he's going to kick it. And is it going to go through? Yes! Looked like it was going wide, but uh, the ball bent a little bit. Just enough to get it over that goal post. 10, 14, 74 now. For a second, it looked like it was going to knock the top of the goal post, but... Yeah, Druckenmiller with a second goal. Yeah, every once in a while, you look, and it looks like it's going wide, but then, I don't know if the wind hits it or maybe the spin of the ball, but it starts to break advantageously as it did for Druckenmiller there. Yeah, as, as a you, result, he gets his second goal of the match for the Buffaloes. And as you can hear by all the crinkling, the wind is starting to pick up now. Yes, just a bit. Uh, better that than the rain, I suppose. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, when we came here, there was like a downpour. There was thunder. There was lightning. We were wondering if we were going to be able to do anything at all, and here we are now set up uh, doing doing the whole thing here. A little bit of delay, but as long as we get the game off, that's all that counts. Absolutely. Off the ruck once again, the uh, Buffaloes get it. jonick has got it now. Buffalo's on the move once again. He touches it, making sure, and he kicks it, and he's got the goal. A little unconventional. 11-14-80 now. Whatever keeps the attack going. And another goal scorer now for the Buffaloes as uh, Ari Jonik tallies with one. They've now got five. George Lacomi, Al McLean, Paul Kupke, Russ Druckenmiller, now Ari Jonik. Ari Jonik getting the uh, goal there. And as soon as they fish it out, they will bring it back to center. Maybe we can ask the drummers where it went. <laughs> yeah, exactly.
Yeah, it's funny. You just see the, the thick forest and you hear the drums in the background. It's, like, you know, it's almost like one of those Expedition Gone Wrong movies. <laughs> we'll find some footage out there, yeah. yeah. And here they go. They've got the ball now and they're bringing it back towards center. Just a wee bit on the warm side today here <laughs> at the JFK Middle School. And you know, I thought I thought that the, the, the heavy rain would get some of that moisture out of the air, but I guess not. Sometimes you have a situation where it's a huge thunderstorm. It's almost like nature's squeegee, mm -hmm. just sucking the moisture out of the air, but not here. And uh, infraction, I think. Yeah. Or they're gonna they're gonna redo it actually. You give it a second shot. Okay. Yep. And up we go. Punched over by Kupke again. First person to get to it, though, however, is going to be uh, Burns. But then he battles Druckenmiller. Druckenmiller gets it out, handballs it to McLean. McLean can't handle it cleanly, though. And he crashes into Kupke. And uh, the Lobster Men right now, if they can uh, move it up the field, they uh, have a little bit of an advantageous position. Is that time? That's yep. it. That's full time. And as a result, uh, the, lo the Lobster Men coming up uh, once again uh, in defeat. Uh, the Buffaloes victorious today. The final score, the Buffaloes 11 goals. 14 behinds, 80 points, and about 20 more screams. The Lobster Men, six goals, seven behinds, 43 total points. And as we look at the ladder now, we can uh, balance it out. Right now, the uh, River Rats are in front with uh, two victories. The Buffaloes are in second place with one goal and one loss. And in third place right now, we have the Lobster Men, who have lost the first two games of this Metro competition. There's more action uh, from here today. We've actually got a mixed game coming up, but that's going to be in the next episode of Stateside Footy. We're going to break it off for now, but we will be back coming up. We've got a mixed game here, once again, like we had last time. More or less uh, the Demons All-Stars against the, uh, the other All-Stars. It's going to be a mixed game with the Demons and some of the Lady Demons getting involved, too. It's a lot of fun, but we'll do that next time, and we'll have some very special things, too, involving the Internet. National Cup, which is upcoming. We'll have that in the next episode, too. For now, for Kyle Serino and our production team, Stacey Robert, Ron Bucari, Don Laird, Kyle Shute, and Connor Shute, I'm Bill Robert. Thank you for watching Stateside Footy. It's Australian-made, American-played, and it's available on cable and online at www.statesidefootytv.com. Thanks for watching.